even when all the maintenance and safety checks are done, it is better to keep a safety kit inside your car. Good evening, everyone. It's the 10th year for the International Food Fair here at MSUB. This year, they're having it in the cafeteria, and I'm seeing food from all corners of the world. Tyler says building this house wasn't easy. Regardless of whatever this year brings, farmers here say they're looking forward to 2013. The water main break is also affecting local businesses. A sign here at the front door of Pizza Hut reads, they're only doing takeouts and deliveries for this evening. Besides weapons training, soldiers out here will also learn how to maintain these vehicles and how to operate them on the battlefield. But the governor says he'll work hard as a board member to keep company investments inside mines like these in Montana. Instructors say it's all about physical preparations. They say an exhausting workout at the sportsplex could prevent you from burning out or getting hurt on the slopes. It's a site almost familiar to people on the Northern Cheyenne Reservation this year, as another wildfire threatened to destroy homes and uproot lives late Thursday night. <laughs> heard uh, from the evacuation, the sirens and lame deer, that the fire was just just a hill or two over. Around 9 p.m., people in lame deer, like Tim Lame Woman, began packing up and leaving their homes. Funny how it was so wet last year and then it's so, you know, everything's burning up this year. While people prepared to evacuate, Cleveland Bement chose to stay in lame deer. They can try to throw me in jail, I ain't gonna leave my house. Those who did evacuate left for Ashland, leaving much of what they own behind. We had to leave livestock and uh, our cats and our dogs. We hope that, uh, that they'll be okay. Some of the evacuees choose to stay at the Red Cross shelter at St. LeBray Indian School. It's kind of heartbreaking seeing my home surrounded by a fire, but I'm telling myself to think positive and pray for a miracle. With the fire at 0% containment overnight, the evacuees only had one simple wish, that everything will be okay. I just want my stepdad and family to know that we're okay and that I love my stepdad and I hope he's okay. Because all I want right now is for him to be with us. That's all I want. In Lame Deer and St. LeBray, Kenneth Wong, Color 8 News. A donor gave us $1,000 to make the community better. And kids in this church leadership group had a choice to make. They looked at um, things at the YWCA, the YMCA. Sheila Cole from the women's shelter ended up coming down and giving a presentation and pitched the idea of these kids adopting a room. And the kids went for it, adopting this room at the women's shelter with a mission to completely renovate it. The carpet wasn't that hard to get up, but once you get underneath it, that stuff underneath, it's pretty hard to get up. Pulling up like the soft stuff, I don't really know what it is, but pulling it up is really hard because it's sticking. Piece by piece, the room was torn out. Now waiting for a fresh look. Our hope is that the project will take three weeks. I hope that they can feel that we put our hearts into it and that we are truly like loving on them and that we are trying to give them the best that we can possibly give them. Kenneth Wong, Color 8 News. It sounds almost like science fiction. Water, cold. Three-dimensional printing is the process of taking computer geometric objects and turning them into something that's tactile that you can hold in your hand. You're printing in little layers essentially and that layer goes on top of a layer that was already printed. Tim Urbanic with MSU Billings at City College says they have two of those printers on campus. The smaller machine was, was purchased um, just over the, the, the holidays this last year. Students in Urbanics' drafting and design class use the printers to turn what they draw on a computer screen into reality. You have to start with a design and something you actually want to make. Uh, once you come up with that, you're going to end up with sketches. 
put it into a computer program that'll actually be able to create it for you. Once it's printed, the object is as real as it gets. This was actually a design we found online. Um, I liked it because, well, Valentine's Day just came and passed, so uh, it's actually a little heart. And Urbanic says the use of 3D printing is expanding. There are people working in the research arena with printing with organic material, uh, three-dimensional meat. One pan-fried catfish. Students in Tim's class have one rule to follow. No gun parts. <laughs> From the Tech Corner, Kenneth Wong, Color 8 News.